Hello world, this is Mike, Backwards Machining. Another update. Uh, this is a schematic I'm going off of for the EDM machine, the power supply, for the Spark. Well, I got this off of Instructables. <clears throat> and basically I'm using a modified version of this. Uh, let me show you what I got. This is the power in. All right, you have the power in. I have it going to a fuse. From the fuse, going to the switch to turn it on and off. Uh, I'm only running the uh, hot leg. That's the neutral leg. That's the hot leg. The yellow is the hot. Uh, and from there. I run it into the bridge rectifier so basically it's a lot like this except I added a few things going into the bridge rectifier again there's the, <clears throat> the other side the neutral side that just goes straight into the bridge rectifier now on the positive side of the bridge rectifier you've got it going to a capacitor and then jumping to the 200 watt bulb uh, fixture. So this is the red is the positive going to the capacitor, jumping from the capacitor <clears throat> to this outlet that is going to be going to a light fixture, so I can plug it in. Uh, then coming back into uh, excuse me this is going in and then coming back to another capacitor bank and then going to the output which will be going to the machine this will be going to the, the, the tool or the electrode so uh, so that is the positive wire going in and coming back out to the capacitor and the output to the tool that's not tied up but you, you saw the, the junction part of that now on the other side of that you have the negative coming off of the rectifier going to the capacitor jumping to this capacitor bank then going straight to the workpiece. So looking at this you have the negative capacitor jump the capacitor to the workpiece. So I think we're we're doing pretty good here. Um, this is what I used for uh, hooking up the wires to the electrode. Uh, just seemed easier at the time. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the capacitors that I used are 200 volt, 680 microfarad. Uh, I used two for each in each bank. Uh, and it was only requiring 100 in the first and 200 in the second. Um, but I have a feeling extra capacitance is going to be more helpful. In fact, what I think I'm going to end up doing is adding a couple of uh, switches, whether they're push buttons or maybe more of these, to add more capacitors in in line, and just to see what it does when the when the spark is initiated. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to help change the frequency because it's going to depend on the voltage being used. See, this is the input from the wall outlet, but it's not going to be coming in from the wall. I have a variac uh, on its way, a 30 amp variac, and that's going to be, uh, it's going to allow me to adjust the voltage. So the, the AC voltage in, and in turn, that will adjust the, v, the DC voltage for me, so I can, you know, bring that down uh, from 120 to 
you know, whatever works. So bringing that down, uh, I think we're going to need the extra capacitance. Uh, anyway, um, that's where we're at with this. Uh, let me show you the motor part. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is that light fixture. I still got to wire this up so I can plug it in. Plus, I got to pick up a 200 watt bulb. All right, these are the motors. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. But ultimately, I need to make a spindle that I can put this on. This is an 8 millimeter adapter. It's an ER16 collet. And I've got a full collet set for this, so it would be good to find a use for it. So what I'm thinking is, if I make a little spindle uh, and use one of these motors to turn it, this can hold the electrodes for me and also spin. Because you, you want to spin the electrode if you can because uh, it'll prevent it from sticking. You don't want it to stick and grab and short out, uh, especially on a long, a long running part. This is uh, going to be the speed control for the DC motor. Uh, I'm not sure what model it is, but I'm pretty sure it's good for 60 volts. Uh, you know, I want to say something like 30 amps. I mean, it's, in, it's complete overkill for this. So, I mean, we, we should be... We should be more than good for that. Um, the only other thing is going to be um, uh, another power supply. And I have another one of those 24-volt uh, power supplies. Uh, one of the little ones that come just as a circuit board. I have one of those. Also, uh, let me show you the other one I got. This here is a 24-volt power supply. Uh, but this one is for powering this board here. If you want to use limit switches or inputs, outputs on, on a board, you have to power the board with the power supply. You can't just use the USB power. Um, so I had to buy its own little power supply. All right, boys and girls. That's it. Stay, stay tuned. Hopefully uh, this weekend we'll... See some sparking. Well, some good sparking. <laughs> All right, later.